In today's video, we're going to discuss the challenges of live video transcoding, and then we're going to go through a solution using Akamai. Let's take a look at a real-world example faced by a company dealing with massive growth in live video streaming. This company, facing triple growth in traffic across North America and Europe, found themselves at a critical juncture. Their on-prem data centers struggled with the sudden spikes in viewership and the growing demand for seamless live streaming. High egress costs and the unpredictable nature of internet traffic made further investment in their on-prem infrastructure a risky proposition. Their existing infrastructure, with its limited capability and scalability, couldn't keep up with the performance demands. Their VMs were unable to transcode videos quickly enough, leading to bottlenecks and subpar viewing experiences during peak times. The company needed a solution that could dynamically scale with their traffic, ensuring high quality live streams without incurring exorbitant costs. Faced with these challenges, they turned to Akamai to scale their live transcoding capability and support their global traffic growth. Akamai's cloud-based services provided the scalability and efficiency needed to meet their demands. We architected this solution to optimize the three parts of live video transcoding, ingestion, transcoding, and distribution. First, the video content is ingested, then it's processed, goes through transcoding, and then it's delivered to the end users. When the social media influencer hits go live on their platform, a few things happen at the same time behind the scenes. First, the live feed from the publisher is sent to the partner's ingest infrastructure in the same region. This infrastructure is responsible for receiving the live stream, ensuring it's captured correctly and preparing it for further processing. The ingestion process then takes one of two paths. Either it's already in a format compatible with the input requirements and can bypass transcoding and will be directly sent to the CDN for distribution, or it needs to undergo transcoding and then be distributed. Instead of taking the extra step to transcode the video into another format, such as for adaptive bitrate streaming or for di different device capabilities, you choose to bypass transcoding altogether. So the original video stream in its native format is sent directly to the Akamai CDN for distribution. By skipping the transcoding step for this one format, you save processing time and resources, leading to faster delivery of the video to your audience. When the original video stream requires transcoding, it's directed to the nearest Akamai data center utilizing Akamai's widespread global infrastructure. This strategy ensures that transcoding happens in close proximity to end users, effectively reducing latency. To facilitate transcoding, dedicated VM instances are dynamically provisioned based on traffic demands. This solves the scalability and resource optimization challenge that many companies face in transcoding video streams for live streaming. By dynamically provisioning VM instances based on traffic demands, we can ensure that there are enough computational resources available to handle transcoding tasks efficiently during peak usage periods. You don't need to worry if you under or over provision resources here. Without this dynamic provisioning mechanism, transcoding tasks might overwhelm the available resources, leading to delays, degraded performance, or even system failures during times of high traffic. By scaling resources up or down in response to demand, the system can maintain optimal performance and ensure a smooth video streaming experience for users, regardless of fluctuation in viewer numbers or streaming demands. Additionally, each VM is equipped with block storage to temporarily store the raw video files. Once transcoded, the resulting videos derived from the single origin raw stream are stored in an object storage bucket. Click on the link in the description for a step-by-step -step guide on how to convert an MP4 file to HLS. Then, the videos are transcoded into different outputs and distributed globally via the CDN into different regions around the world. These could be different resolution outputs or different bitrate outputs or special formats like HDR. An added bonus is that if you transcode your videos with Akamai and you transfer them to the Akamai CDN, there is zero egress cost. If it's being transferred to another CDN, there is a small cost, but much lower than other CDN providers. Thanks for following along with us today. Now, you should have a solid understanding of the challenges of live video transcoding, 
and how to architect a solution with Akamai. When you invest the right resources to building an efficient live video transcoding solution, you ensure high quality viewing experiences for your audience by reducing latency while optimizing costs and maintaining robust security and scalability. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Don't forget to check out the link in the description for your free Linode credits, and if you have any questions or need any further assistance, leave a comment below or reach out to our support team. I'm Talia with Akamai, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.